Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Arilla Raba. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgery resident and I just finished a night of trauma surgery. On Saturday, I am going to head home and um, get some sleep and then take you guys through a full 24 hours on trauma surgery weekend uh, night shift call and show you guys what that looks like. I got home, I'm exhausted. I'm going to get to bed. And before I change out of my scrubs, I just wanted to show you my new favorite pair of Urbane scrubs. They are actually sponsoring this video. So I just wanna say thank you so much, Urbane Scrubs, for taking time to sponsor this video. These are the Icon Collection and they are absolutely amazing. This jacket keeps me nice and warm during my long hospital shifts. This is the most comfortable four-way stretch material that feels more like yoga pants than anything else. They've got a large, very comfortable waistband here, really beautiful side panel design with a tapered jogger pant style leg. I love these because they are contemporary fit. They look really nice and professional. They've got really nice wide pocketing. I put my patient lists in here, lots of different pocket options. So you can get all of your gadgets in the right pockets. They have an ID holder, which I absolutely love. These are the best scrubs, you guys, because not only are they comfortable, but they also have a wicking material, so it keeps you nice and cool during your long shifts, which is perfect for trauma surgery and why I love them so much. Make sure you check out the Urbane Scrubs Icon Collection. I'm gonna leave you all of the info down below in my bio. Rise and shine. Good morning. So when I am working night shift on a weekend, I always make it a point to try and schedule something that still makes me feel like I have part of my weekend. And so I'm getting ready to go and grab brunch in my neighborhood because it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And so I'll do my makeup, I'll do my hair, and it'll just make me feel like I still have a little bit of my own free time this weekend, even though I'm working. And I get to enjoy a nice brunch before I head into the hospital. Always find time to walk this fluffer ten on a weekend. We try to take him out a little bit longer than usual. Walk him around on this beautiful Sunday before we go and grab brunch. Grabbing brunch outside. And we have a special guest that always joins us, Ozzy, when we are meeting outside. It's a beautiful day. I love all the outdoor dining options in Boston. I just finished a delicious brunch with Chris. I know a lot of people who do night shift will sleep pretty much all the way up until their shift so that they can rest and refresh and be able to stay up all night. Um, for me personally, I always sacrifice a couple of hours of sleep just so I can get up and feel like I have some part of my weekend left. Um, that's really important to me. So really it's all about your priorities. For me, being able to get up um, and go to brunch, spend a couple of hours with Chris uh, since he's off this weekend, and then go run a couple of errands so that I'm set up for the rest of the week when I'm back on um, day shift is really important. So I prioritize that over a couple of extra hours of sleep, but it really is all about your preference. I operate quite well on five or six hours of sleep. So I usually get home around 6 a.m. We'll sleep all the way until about 12. That's a nice solid six hours of sleep. I'll wake up at 12, sometimes a little bit earlier. It depends on what I have planned. And then I'll head out and go do something to feel like I still have a Saturday and Sunday. And once I'm closer to the time I go into the hospital, which is around 5.30, I'll start wrapping up, maybe slow down a little bit, go home, grab a cup of coffee, and just get ready for my night shift. One of my favorite errands to run, you guys, is coming to Home Goods to buy some house stuff, things I need and things I really don't need. Second favorite errand on a weekend, and that is Trader Joe's. 
Alright guys, so we just got home. We had a really nice day out. We took Ozzy on a walk. We went and had brunch. We went to Home Goods. We went to Trader Joe's. So got all of my errands out of the way. I'm feeling pretty refreshed now. I have about an hour before I go into the hospital. So I'm going to sit down and just unwind and kind of reset. So I am mentally and physically prepared for the start of my night shift tonight. I'll put some stuff away and then maybe just have a cup of tea and then get ready to go into the hospital at 5.30 p.m. So that's it, time for me to go into the hospital. I usually get there around 5.30 and then I get sign out from the D team letting me know everything that happened during the day that's really important, things that I need to do um, at nighttime like post-op checks or following up on labs or imaging, anything like that. And of course, all of the new traumas that end up coming in overnight. Of course, it's summertime and so um, unfortunately, traumas can be really, really crazy in the hospital because a lot of people are out and about and so there's a lot more um, motor vehicle collisions, motorcycle accidents, um, and so every night in the summer can be totally unpredictable with um, just a couple of traumas to a lot and a lot and a lot of traumas. So we'll see what the night looks like. Immediately after sign out, I go and do any immediate tasks that need to happen. Um, I have to see a couple of patients, address a couple of pages. Usually we take care of um, 10, 20, 30, depends on how busy the trauma service is. You take care of both teams overnight. Usually there isn't anything that needs to happen that the day team can do, like discharges and admissions and things like that, except for traumas um, and acute care staff. And so nighttime is really focused on taking care of the patients that are already here, as well as anything acute or any traumas that come in overnight. Some of the most common things that come into um, acute care overnight are cholecystitis, appendicitis, and people usually go to the OR sometime overnight to get these procedures done because it's always better to do them sooner rather than later unless there's some sort of contraindication. Um, other things that come in are a ton of different traumas. And so you have gunshot wounds, motorcycle collisions, and motorcycle accidents, um, falls, lots of falls, especially in the summer, people are out and about. And so this is the most common type of stuff. Overnight as an intern, I place a lot of NG tubes. Um, I help if a chest tube needs to be put in um, and things like that. This is by far one of the most important aspects of the night. And that is to come into the overnight on call room and grab some snacks they usually have a lot of chips here some fruit and most importantly they have coffee all right so i just checked on all of my patients i did all of my post-op checks um, put in all the notes I needed to do, looked at everyone's vitals and labs, and everyone looks pretty good. Oh, I'm just getting a page right now. Let's see. Oh, all right. So everybody's really nice and stable, and I am going to go to the on-call rooms. Maybe I'll just like lay down, stretch my feet for a little bit. Sometimes I can get lucky and I can snooze for like 30 minutes, but I have to be always on alert because I am on trauma surgery and at any point a trauma can come in, you have to be readily available to like get up, jump and go. And so you can't ever fully rest when you're on trauma surgery, but you can definitely stretch your legs, relax for a little bit. And that's always something that I love doing when I'm in the hospital and things are going well. So this is the on-call room. It's a really fancy five-star hotel. It's like I'm staying at the Ritz. Um, but honestly, it's got everything you need. It's got some reading material if you're curious. It's got a computer with our EMR on it, a bed, a light. And actually, this room has a big window, so that's really nice and a little chair in case I want to sit down and think in solitude. So I think this will do to just sit and stretch my legs for a little. 
So I ended up um, doing some reading and while I was reading, I actually snoozed for about 30 minutes, which is so nice. I feel really refreshed. And then I woke, was woken up to a page because I have multiple new admissions. So um, I'm going to read up on these patients, um, get sign out, and then start putting admission orders in for them. Um, so I have some work to do. And then once they come up to the floor, I'm gonna go see everybody. And so um, it was quiet and nice. about 4 a.m. Um, sign out is usually at 5.30 in the morning. So this is when I start to clean up the lists, put together the sign out emails and make sure everything's in order. So when the day team comes in, everything's ready to go and I can sign out and then go home. All right, you guys, time to finally go to bed and that's it. There you have it, 24 hours on trauma surgery we can call. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, if you want to see posts like this and more, follow me on Instagram at 15blades. Comment below. Let me know what other vlogs you want me to do. Like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.